Yes, brother, this is Shay. Today, the video is about how erection challenges and sexual performance anxiety is often the symptom rather than the cause. And how do we understand what's actually going on and what to do about it so that we can stay hard during sex? So this is important to understand because the alternative choice really is to just keep on thinking that I have something wrong with me, that I'm not normal, I don't know how to figure it out, or just to take pills and not really see the results that you want anyway. Um, so it's not a great alternative compared to understanding what's actually going on and getting it sorted so that you can stay hard during sex and avoid a permanent erection problem or having to always rely on pills. So where we're going to start today is understanding the emotions that come up when performance anxiety happens or when we struggle to get hard or stay hard during sex. I'd like you to think about what are the thoughts that come into your mind. So it may be something like, I must get this perfect. Uh, if it's before sex, so I must get this perfect. I must get this right. If I don't get this right, then it means what? Or if it's during sex, like I've, I've got to finish, I've got to climax, because if we don't, then it means what? And it usually comes down to this feeling of like, what if I lose connection with this person? What if there's a loss of love or a loss of trust? And I'd like you to now scan for other moments in your life before anything to do with erection challenges or sexual performance anxiety, where these similar feelings came up. If I don't get this right, or if I'm not accepted in this moment, then I, I feel lost. I feel this kind of loss of trust or loss of connection. I don't really know who I am. So just take a moment to think back about some, you know, high intensity moments or emotional moments back in over the last, you know, 10, 20, 30, however many years it may be of your life. And just start to see if there's other moments in time where those emotions have shown up. And why we're doing that is because that starts to show us that it's not so much erection challenges that is the cause or is the problem. It's more of a symptom of a similar set of underlying emotions. And that's the part that we must work on to be able to resolve. So that brings us on to the next part. How do we resolve that? Well, the first part is understanding the, like the most important step to take is understanding which stage of the emotions we're at on something that I call the sex loop. There's three very clear stages and below in the video, I put a link um, in the comments, I put a link to go and watch this video. It's two minutes and you will be able to watch it and it will show you exactly which stage of the three stages on the sex loop you are at. So that's it, it's time to go and do that now. So click the link below, go and watch that two minute video and how you will know this is working is that you will clearly identify, yes, that is the exact stage that I am at. And plus on that page, I also include a free number one mistake guide. This will show you the number one mistake that men make when it comes to a lifelong erection problem. So go and get that free guide as well because it means that you can avoid making that same mistake.